come to the last session of our two-day conference. It's transforming publishing, the intersection of innovation, experience, and learning. What is the way forward? This session will focus on the transformative changes happening in the publishing industry and the way forward for publishers. It will explore the intersection of innovation, user experience, and learning in shaping the future of publishing. The session will discuss emerging technologies, digital, digital platform, new formats, revolutionizing how content is created, consumed, and shared. It will also address the importance of fostering a culture of experimentation, collaboration, and continuous learning in the publishing ecosystem. The session aims to inspire publishers to embrace change, adopt to evolving reader expectations, and explore new avenues for growth in the dynamic publishing landscape. With the introduction of NEP, we feel it is very important to know what is the way forward for us. And for this, I'll request Dr. J.S. Rajputji, who is a former director of NCRT, to chair this session. I'll request Dr. J.S. Rajputji to come on the dais. Professor Rajput is an eminent educationist with rich experience in various fields, including UNESCO. Professor Rajput is known for his contribution in reforms in school education and teacher education. He has held several assignments, which include professor in NCRT, 1974, principal of the Regional Institute of Education, Bhopal, 1977 to 78, Joint Education Advisor, Ministry of HRD, Government of India, 1989 to 94, Chairman NCER, National Council for Teacher Education, NCTE, from 94 to 99, and the Director of NCRT, 99 to 204. Professor Rajput proposed valuable changes in school education curriculum as Director NCRT, popularly known as SAI values, truth, peace, non-violence, righteous conduct, dharma, which we call, and love. Thank you, sir. Thank you for finding time and coming to chair this session. Then we have Mr. Rajesh Agarwal, an IAS Secretary to the Government of India. He is a computer science graduate from IIT Delhi in the year 1983 to 87, where his main interests were algorithms and artificial intelligence, joined IAS in 1989. He did his initial field posting in Maharashtra in several districts. During his stint at Election Commission of India, New Delhi, in two, from 2003 to 2007, he developed a lot of fuzzy matching techniques to dedupe the voter list. Worked with large database, 700 million voters and 500 million photographs in more than a dozen Indian languages executed photo rolls project. Now, you see your photographs printed in the voter list. He is a person who did when he was in Election Commission of India. And also, he convinced Delimitation Commission to make new assembly and parliament boundaries using GIS maps from Census of India. Okay, at present, he is secretary to the government of India in the Ministry of Empowerment of Persons with Disabilities. Welcome, sir. And we have with us Varun Agarwal. He is founder of the Change Engine. Uh, I'll invite Mr. Varun Agarwal. He is an MIT graduate and is the founder of Change Engine and Escalator Nursing and Funding Entrepreneurship, Entrepreneurs Addressing Challenging Problems. He is also the co-founder of FAST, India, a non-profit dedicated to transforming India's science and technology e ecosystem. Varun's authorship spans science ecosystem insights. De de uh, deep tech, children's literature, literature and fiction. With extensive angel, angel investing and advisory roles, he co-authored Future Future, future Apprentices to a book on Indian de uh, deep tech startup. He has been composing Hindi and English poems since high school. So welcome to this session, and I'll ask, I'll request Dr. J.S. Rajpurji to take it further. Thank you. I'm indeed very happy to be here amongst 
several known faces and some new faces. When Naveenji asked me to come over here, I said, I don't have much experience about what is going to happen in the publishing by way of innovations. He insisted. I said, yes, I'll come. Yes, in the NCRT, I spent five years as the director. And I remember when we were publishing some new books, we had, in fact, changed the curriculum and changed all the books. And for the classes one to eight, we are using black and white only. I said, make it four color. Enhance the GSM by 10. They said, no, this is just not possible. We will go into loss, this and that, all those things. I said, no, let us experiment, go ahead. And it worked. The way those books were presented, made all the difference. And NCRT, in fact, many people think it is subsidized by the government. It also wants profit on its books because it has a credibility. It has acquired a national credibility over the years and it works. Why I am mentioning it? Because when I was listening to eminent speakers before this, I was also reminded of one more experience. I met a very senior author of the NCRT books. I went to his place and said, Sir, kindly revise the manuscript. There are many suggestions from teachers, and teachers' suggestions are really worthwhile. And after you have revised, I will call some 20 teachers of the class, particular class. They will stay here for one week, and give their suggestions if they find any topic to be difficult. Because having served as a professor in NCRT 1974 onwards, I was aware of one thing. Teachers used to point out it is very difficult for us to take up this topic, or this topic has no relevance, or this topic has no continuity. Therefore, I introduced this. Let teachers come. Teachers of the class come. I'm talking of textbooks. He refused. A very eminent person. He said, no, you want my manuscript to be vetted by school teachers. I said, sir, it is not vetted by school teachers. They will just tell you what are their problems. The final word would be yours. He refused. The point I'm making is you have to conduct, if necessary, researches with institutions. Publishers and organizations like NCRT, CBSE, why can't they come together? Why can't they sit together and enhance the quality by their deliberations, by conducting research projects if necessary, ascertaining what the children need and what the teachers require? One of the areas that will gain a lot of importance, it already has, but it is not being responded to, is material for teachers. It is not necessary to have only the guidelines for teachers or gu guidebooks for teachers. In the NCT, when I was the chairperson, we prepared some material. For example, whenever I read Sri Arvindo's philosophy, I found it very difficult to comprehend. So I decided that I would like to get, I would like to get a book prepared on Sri Arvindo for high school teachers, those who have read only up to class 10. And Mr. Manoj Das wrote such a book with a lot of efforts. In NCRT, I requested Dr. Subhas Kashyap that you have written books for law graduates, researchers in law and constitution. Why not write a book for a primary school teacher? What is the relevance of constitution? He initially was very reluctant, but I persuaded him and he wrote. The idea is, it makes all the difference if readers' interests are studied by publishers and authors are also involved. I would like, I wish I had conducted in NCRT the interactive meetings between publishers, authors, and those 
who are the target groups that is something to be done. and from there innovations will uh, definitely appear one by one <coughs> but the <coughs> main point that i am supposed to make here is that in years to come few things will become very important which every publisher will have to take note of every author will have to take note of ravindra tagore wrote once that every child when he is born is blessed with two boons by the nature or by almighty or by god these boons are power of ideas and power of imagination no child is deprived of these two even if he has some different abilities you must have seen this observe this in every child <clears throat> when i talk about in my lectures in detail lectures which i deliver in schools and institutions i had two more things and they are part of these two that is <coughs> curiosity and creativity if you see all these five they are there and they constitute the entire curriculum for the growing up of the child gurudev said that while these two boons are available in awareness to every child our education system tries its best to impede both of them it crushes both of them. and i liked it therefore i would say that if these four tones are in the minds of read authors <laughs> authors and also the publishers <coughs> because you reshape the materials provided by the authors you become the link between the author and the reader so if these four factors are taken into account it will make a big difference it will enhance quality and why i am mentioning this is there will be no dearth of innovations a child who is encouraged in his ideas a child who is encouraged in imagination you will not have to ask him for any innovations innovations will flow in abundance and that is what is future going to be in the field of knowledge we have learned so much about it muscle power money power mind power then now we say we are moving from information society to knowledge society and this is best described by bertrand russell he said if humanity pursues only knowledge it will perish it is the wisdom that will matter therefore the point is are you insist creating wisdom also you are disseminating knowledge fine knowledge was at its peak when the experiment was made, atomic explosion first atomic explosion took place in los alamos in 1945 but wisdom was not there vivek nahi tha agar vivek bhi hota gyan ke sath buddhi bhi hoti vivek hota to hiroshima nahi hota ye udaharan main bar bar dohrata hu kyunki burton russell ko padhne ke baad mujhe ek naam aaya कि उसका अर्थ क्या है उसका अर्थ यही है मैंने पंडित विद्यानवास मिश्र से एक पुस्तक लिखाई कि मेरी ज्ञान परंपरा में क्या कुछ ऐसा है जो आज भी सार्थक है आगे भी रहेगा उन्होंने एक पुस्तक लिखी हिंदी में लिखी उन्होंने कहा कि चार स्टेजेस होती हैं सीखने की सिखाने की अध्ययन जिसके लिए हम किताब बनाते हैं अध्यापक देते हैं मनन अध्ययन के बाद सोचिए क्या आपने सीखा अगर 40 मिनट आपने लेक्चर सुना है तो बच्चों को देना चाहिए समय कि पाँच मिनट बैठो जरा सोचो क्या तुमने सीखा एंड द मोमेंट दे रिफ्लेक्ट बहुत से सवाल पैदा हो जाएंगे नाउ दे से मनन टॉक टू दैट इज नॉर्मली वी कैन से पियर लर्निंग आपस में बात करो और सबसे महत्वपूर्ण बात है ज्ञान वही उपयोगी है ज्ञान वही सार्थक है जिसका सदुपयोग होता हो आप सोचिए 
अगर हिरोशिमा के बाद सारी दुनिया ने फैसला किया होता कि अब एटॉमिक बॉम्ब बनाने की दिशा में कोई रिसर्च नहीं होगी कोई आगे नहीं बढ़ेगा तो आज दुनिया का स्वरूप क्या होता बहुत कुछ बदल जाता इसलिए आगे चलकर जो समाज बनेगा वो बुद्धि और विवेक पर आधारित होगा और ऐसा समाज तभी बनता है जब नए इनोवेशन्स होते रहें और आपका जो क्षेत्र है उसके महत्व पर बड़ी चर्चा हुई है मैं भी उससे सहमत हूँ इसमें दो राय नहीं है और सब बड़ी बात जो मुझे ये लगी कि पब्लिशर्स का रिकग्निशन समाज उतना नहीं करता एन में हम लोग पायरेसी से बहुत प्रभावित होते थे बड़ा खराब लगता था मुश्किल ये है कि क्रेडिबिलिटी किसी भी सिस्टम की उसी के प्रयासों से बनती है आपकी भी जिम्मेदारी है कि अगर ऐसे लोग कहीं पर आपके यहाँ बीच में हैं तो उनका संबंध में ये अपेक्षा मत करिए कि सरकार का ही काम है उन्हें पकड़ना या उनके साथ कुछ जो करना आप भी उन्हें बता सकते हैं आप भी उन्हें बहिष्कृत कर सकते हैं समाज के लिए आवश्यक है ज्ञान समाज के लिए आवश्यक है बुद्धि और विवेक के बढ़ाने के लिए आवश्यक है ऐसी बहुत सी चीज़ें हैं मैं यहाँ यही कहना चाहता था कि अभी यूनेस्को का एक बहुत बड़ा प्रोजेक्ट है पिछले तीन साल से चल रहा है फ्यूचर्स ऑफ एजुकेशन जिसमें सारे इनोवेशन्स की चर्चा होती है क्या होगा क्या समाज होगा और सभी का एक ख्याल है कि अनलिस डेंटिल लर्निंग टू नो एंड लर्न टू डू इज फाइन हम उसी पर केंद्रित हो गए हैं इसीलिए हमारी कमियां उजागर हुई है हमने लर्निंग टू बी एंड लर्निंग टू बिकम उसको ध्यान नहीं दिया है हमें ऐसा समाज बनाना है जहां पर केयरिंग हो शेयरिंग हो और ये इस बात का एहसास हो कि इक्कीसवीं शताब्दी में हर व्यक्ति को ऐसा अवसर मिलना चाहिए कि वो मनुष्य का जीवन विद ड्यू डिग्निटी एंड बेसिक नेसेसिटीज जी सके ये तभी होगा जब हम अपने बच्चों को अपनी पुस्तकों के द्वारा अपने अध्यापकों के द्वारा अपनी शिक्षाओं शिक्षा के द्वारा उन चीज़ों को दिखा सकेंगे जिसमें एम्पथी होगी कंसिडरेशन आदर्श होगा और हमारे पास तो अनेक उदाहरण हमारी संस्कृति हमारी परंपरा इतनी सशक्त मैं आप सबके लिए यही कहना चाहता हूं कि अपने व्यवसाय में सुधार करना बहुत आवश्यक है जो छोटे से एक दो प्रतिशत लोग ऐसे हैं जो केवल धनाजन पर ही विश्वास करते हैं उनको बहिष्कृत करना भी आपकी जिम्मेदारी है एन जैसी संस्थाएं राष्ट्र की सेवा करती हैं एन है एन है सी है इनको इस तरह की चीज़ों में डालना या उनके कार्य को खराब करना उचित नहीं है लेकिन कुछ तत्व तो हैं जो करते हैं मैं जानता हूं और मैं तो चाहता हूं कि मैं फिर उस बात को दोहरा देता हूं कि आप लेखक पब्लिशर और ये संस्थाएं सब एक साथ मिले तो बहुत कुछ बनेगा और अध्यापकों की ओर विशेष ध्यान देना होगा क्योंकि अगर समाज में कोई दृष्टिकोण परिवर्तन करना है तो अध्यापकों के द्वारा होगा क्योंकि भविष्य के निर्माता जो सबसे महत्वपूर्ण है उसमें अध्यापक भी सबसे पहले आते हैं उनके लिए सम्मान रखना होगा ये करना होगा बाकी रिसर्च की बात मैंने कह दी कह दी है लास्ट बात मेरी ये है कि नई शिक्षा नीति में एक बहुत बड़ी बात कही गई अब वो ये है मल्टी डिसमिलरिटी इसलिए अब लिखने का किताबों में जो लिखा जाएगा उसे भी इसका ध्यान रखना पड़ेगा आइंस्टीन ने कहा था कि अगर मेरा बस चले तो मैं करिकुलम में केवल दो विषय रखूंगा और वो दो विषय कौन से होंगे म्यूजिक एंड मैथमेटिक्स और कुछ नहीं रखूंगा मैं कोई सोशल साइंस और साइंस और हिस्ट्री ज्योग्राफी में कुछ नहीं रखना म्यूजिक एंड मैथमेटिक्स और जब मैं उसको पढ़ता हूं तो मुझे याद आता है गांधी ने कहा था कि तकली से शुरू करो बहुत कुछ उसमें था इन छोटी चीजों में बड़े बड़े नवाचार निकल सकते हैं संभव हैं और मैं समझता हूं वो हम लोग सभी देख रहे होंगे आपको बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद मुझे इतनी ही बात करनी गुड आफ्टरनून आई हैव सेट माई टाइम टू टेन मिनट्स एंड लाइक मैनी इन द ऑडियंस आई एम ऑल्सो फैन ऑफ जवल हरारी एंड आई अंडरस्टैंड हिम बाई रीडिंग हिज बुक्स printed books by reading them on kindle by reading his uh, printed comic books through tv 
through YouTube channel, listening to podcasts while in the car. This is the present and future of publishing and learning. Like Duval, he gives a big picture of uh, humanity's past, present and future. So in 10 minutes, I can't give you a very big picture of learning, but a few glimpses. So if we go to the past, how did we evolve from apes? What distinguishes us? Standing erect, opposable thumbs, and then language evolution. That's very important. A language, as long as it remains spoken language for tens of thousands of years, the world evolved to a certain extent. Even today, we have Sentinelese tribe in the Andamans, purely on spoken tradition. So they are homo sapiens, they talk to one another, close-knit uh, clan or group, but stuck at a certain point in civilization. So then the next evolution happened when the writing evolved, when script evolved. So you have examples from, again, almost 10,000 years of uh, script writing on the stones. A few centuries ago, the world moved from stones to paper and ink. Then we moved to Gutenberg Press. And then 30, 40 years ago, PCs came. Next cycle of evolution started. So all of you started using DTP and uh, so composing changed, proofreading changed. How do you print books? That changed. Then in our country about 25 years ago, internet came. That started changing things. Then about 10 years ago, affordable smartphones came. So many people credit Xiaomi with breaching the 5,000 mark, 5,000 rupees smartphone mark. Then Jio came, data prices fell. And that's what really hit the publishing industry very, very hard. Now the new generation is absolutely glued onto YouTube and other platforms. So what has happened is, by internet and smartphones and cheap data is, democratization of a lot of things. You can convert your small home into a hotel through Airbnb. You have a car, without a taxi license, you can practically go to Uber and Ola and start that business. And if you are a content creator, an author, you did not know anyone, need anyone else, you go to an online platform, publish your things, whether it's Kindle or YouTube. So democratization meant this thing, one thing that every author, every content creator became a publisher of his or her own content. Then it also enhanced the vernacular usage. You may say that, uh, and yesterday you honored uh, 16, 17 language publishers, but there are 50,000 dialects in the country there are so many, with the same script, there are multiple written languages. So who is printing books in Olchiki? Only the local guy is actually preparing YouTube videos in Olchiki or other uh, languages, tribal languages, other languages. In my present role as secretary in the disability department, I deal with uh, all kinds of people. So there is a very interesting debate I see here paper versus digital. I see the same debate in blind community. Jo old timers say braille aani chahiye sab blind bachon ko. Kya braille se khao, aap audio books ban kar do aathwe tak. Jo nahi generation hai, 20 saal ke bachche hai, wo kehte braille ko ban kar do. Aaj kal audio ka zamana hai, 5 saal ke bachche ko smartphone se khao, jo blind bachcha hai. Wo usse kitab ko sonega. Hmm? It's very interesting debate and quite parallel to your debate. And I will be very happy if next year, among the languages, you add Braille. Braille is actually a script, plus sign language for the deaf. There are millions of, millions of videos for sign language. And many of you might not be knowing that uh, there is a thing in Copyright Act, 
that if your book is not accessible, it can be converted into EPUB without uh, asking you and put on Bookshare or Sogamaya Pustakalya. And at the moment, there are 1.14 million books and audio books on these two platforms. So I hope next year you will have sign and braille also. But along with this expansion of material comes an information overload on the kids. Only two, three days back, we had a meeting with NCRT and we were talking of material for the blind kids, for the deaf kids and so on. And I, was asked, I asked them that we need to curate material. For example, a sixth class child trying to learn volcanoes, he or she goes on YouTube, volcano, one million videos will come. The child may spend five hours in searching through 100 videos and they might not be the best videos for him or her. Next is Diksha platform by the government. There again, we actually typed volcano and uh, 20 videos came up. So probably slightly better is QR code on the NCRT book or your books. And you take the child to the relevant video. It might be made by you or it might be just available on the YouTube or wherever else and you give the link there. So the child does not waste time. So information overload also requires curation and there was a lot of talk on curation. That's very necessary. So technology will keep on changing and uh, I attended two, three sessions, but did not hear much on VR, AR. But I personally believe VR and AR will be things to watch in the next two, three years for some of you guys also. And uh, the technology is changing fast. The hardware is changing fast. The software platforms are the new Unreal Engine and the Unity engines are phenomenal. And uh, the Apple Pro might also basically tilt the game here. And um, Apple provision and uh, 3D stuff is anyway many times better than 2D stuff, pictures, animations, or even 2D videos. So a lot of talk in AI here. Uh, I have been a student of AI for last 30 plus years. In 87, my BTEC thesis in IIT Delhi was on natural language understanding. So it was like mini chat GPT. And when I see newer versions of chat GPT and GPT, I'm very happy how the things are evolving. And speech to text and text to speech. These are actually solved problems. The written language translation, that is a solved problem. If you don't believe me, go to any YouTube video, just go in the settings part, see the transcript. Whether the YouTube is in Hindi or English or Punjabi, you can see the transcript in Bengali or any other language and it's quite perfect. And it's becoming better day by day. So these two are solved problems. What does it mean? That whether it's a book or whether it's a video, regardless of the language it is in, regardless of where it was produced, it can be consumed by anyone in the world sitting anywhere in their own language. So this is quite a game changer. And you can do it self-paced. And there's been a lot of talk on that AI will help in customization of the material. So the recommendation engines we all know, we Alexa to Alexa, listen to Alexa, Alexa knows how to sing Alexa. I see a child will go and say, I will tell you about the volcano or the calculus, so the platform will know how much knowledge is coming, how much knowledge is weak, so it will do that type. So it's nothing new, recommendation engines are uh, there for that. Thank you very much. I am presently doing a course on Coursera by Andrew Ng, it's on machine learning. Usme dead lakh students hai. I paid hundred dollars for it. Do mahine ka course hai, it's self-paced. Main total hundred hours ka usme uh, lagaunga. To aap laga lije. Eh, eh. Okay. So, dead lakh into hundred dollars, pandra million dollars, sava sao crore. Aur saal mein aise panchya course ho chalate hai. That's the kind of earning a good teacher with the good platforms they can do. But jo thodi dar hai ki isse author khatam ho jayega kya book seller khatam ho jayenge kya mujhe aisa nahi lagta. Jab 100 saal pehle photography aayi logon ne kaha paintings khatam ho jayenge. 
पेंटिंग्स खत्म हुई क्या दुनिया में नहीं हुई तो इसलिए जे पी का 2030 तक जे पी टी आ जाएगा कोई कहते हैं जे पी टी ट्वेंटी फाइव पहुँचेगा तब तक पर उससे ह्यूमन इंजेन्यूटी और वो कम नहीं होगा दैट्स माई पर्सनल बिलीफ लास्ट वन टू पॉइंट्स लैंग्वेज इज स्टिल इवॉल्विंग हैंड रिटर्न से टाइपिंग हो गया टाइपिंग से स्पीच पे जाएगा और किसी चीज़ पे जाएगा रीडिंग की तरफ से हम ऑडियो की तरफ जा रहे हैं आपका कागज़ की बजाय हम स्क्रीन की तरफ जा रहे हैं मे बी नेक्स्ट वर्शन होगा स्क्रीन भी करने की जरूरत नहीं आज थोड़ा जो स्क्रीन है बेसिकली कंप्यूट है और स्टोरेज पार्ट है अपने हाथ से थोड़ा सा दूर है दिमाग से प्रोबेबली ये और छोटा होकर दिमाग के अंदर घुस जाएगा एज ए पार्ट ऑफ आई थिंक आप सीधा डाउनलोड कर पाओगे वन नेवर नोज न्यूरा लिंक पर उस पर प्रोजेक्ट चल रहे हैं एंड टू थाउजेंड फोर्टी सेवन की बात होती है वी कैन नॉट इमेजिन कि टू थाउजेंड फोर्टी सेवन कैसा होगा इंक्रीमेंटल तो डेफिनेटली नहीं होगा शायद डिज़ाइनर पर भी आ जाएंगे जीन्स जीन्स प्राइसिंग आ जाएगी तब तक और शायद उस टाइम एम्बेडिड चिप्स भी आ जाएँ तो देन ऑल ऑफ एस हैव टू री इमेजिन कि उस टाइम हम हाउ डू वी ट्रांसफर द नॉलेज from one to many thank you so much thank you thank you and good evening uh kafi kuch bol gaye hai jo mujhe bolna tha to <laughs> i'll find points to uh, not at all not at all uh to you know when uh, ashok ji invited me thank you for inviting me uh राजपू जी तो पोलाइटनेस में बोल रहे थे कि मुझे पब्लिशिंग के बारे में नहीं पता कुछ मुझे एक्चुअली कुछ नहीं पता पब्लिशिंग के बारे में राइट सो आई गिव यू द आउटसाइडर्स व्यू ऑन पब्लिशिंग एंड द टॉपिक वॉज क्वाइट वाइड राइट दैट ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग पब्लिशिंग सो आई ट्राई टू कमेंट ऑन इट फ्रॉम वॉट आई आई एम सी जनरली गेटिंग ट्रांसफॉर्म बोथ इन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इन बिजनेस राइट एंड आई सॉ दैट देर बीन वेरी सेशन ऑन ए आई एंड डेटा ओवर दीज टू डेज वेन आई वॉज लुकिंग थ्रू द प्रोग्राम सो आई थॉट लेट्स think a little bit about the big picture and jaisa ki kafi logon ne yahan baat ki hai that there are two major things where publishers are involved one is content and the other is distribution right and uh, rajesh ji bol rahe the that you know he was talking about transformations which i have had so ek bar if we see the transformations which i have had over the last many many thousands of years and ye do cheeze kaise change hui hai uh i think maybe we can see a little bit in the future so i spent a minute on this and then say what i think uh where the future is going to jaise ki ye bata rahe the ki it started with the evolution of language right then humans started speaking and if you see it from the indian lens uh we built a very strong oral tradition right even before writing came in we had a oral tradition of memorizing and so on to content bhi tab ban raha tha aur distribution bhi ho rahi thi aur logo ke बात बात में पहुंच रहा था राइट टू द एक्सटेंड दैट अवर स्टोरी टेलिंग ऑफ बुक्स लाइक रामायण वेंट टू द होल ऑफ साउथ ईस्ट एशिया राइट एंड देन द रिटर्न वर्ड केम इन एंड वी गॉट ऑल दिस अ वेरी सोफेस्टिकेटेड सिस्टम ऑफ नॉलेज इफ यू लुक एट द इंडियन फिलोसफिकल ट्रेडिशन राइट दर्शन शास्त्र को आप देखेंगे तो इट वॉज एज इवॉल्व एज वॉट वी सी इन जर्नल्स एंड कॉन्फ्रेंसेज टूडे राइट पीपल साइटिंग ईच अदर्स वर्क क्रिटिसाइजिंग ईच अदर्स वर्क एंड सो ऑन सो बोथ इफ़ यू सी वी इनफैक्ट अभी एक स्पीकर विश्व गुरु की बात कर रहे थे तो क्यों हम तब विश्व गुरु थे उसका कारण है वो जो कॉन्टेंट प्रोड्यूस हो रहा था इट वॉज वेरी हाई क्वालिटी कॉन्टेंट वेरी यूनिक कॉन्टेंट अक्रॉस दी वर्ल्ड इन मेनी एरियाज विच इंडिया गेव राइट एंड द क्वेश्चन इज दैट हाउ कैन वी गेट बैक देयर इन माई माइंड राइट एंड देन यू नो द प्रिंटिंग प्रेस केम विच सडनली क्रिएटेड दिस पब्लिशिंग इंडस्ट्री बिकॉज यू कैन नाउ आप किताबें किसी की तरफ भी प्रिंट करके पहुंचा सकते थे एंड देन एज यू आर सिंग कंप्यूटर्स केम देन केम द इंटरनेट देन केम मोबाइल एंड नाउ इट्स ए आई राइट विच वी आर इन एंड एंड आई थिंक वॉट इज हैपन विद दिस होल चेंज विद बेसिकली इंटरनेट इसकी कॉन्टेंट हैज बिकम कमोडिटी टू सम एक्सटेंट राइट नाइन्टी परसेंट कॉन्टेंट is available everywhere right on the internet and that's i think the biggest challenge uh the book industry faces right so my view on content uh, is twofold and ye pehle baat ho rahi thi ki one lady who was speaking here she was saying that publishers are content cre- uh, curators right and then there was this other talk about trust in content creation see i think what is happening and as rajesh you were saying that 
AI can now make a lot of different kinds of content, you know, repurpose content, you know, even the bio, uh, Sahab Mera read kar rahe te, wo chat GPT nahi likha tha. But I had to correct it after that, right? So I think the thing is ki content can be changed by AI, repurposed, all these things will happen. But finally, we have to select what is the right content, right? Or tell it to create the kind of content which is to do. So I think the role of publishers in the future is that they have to be content specialists. It is not enough to be content curators in my mind, right? And I'll give you an example from an industry which I came, I built this company in assessments. And assessments, may we were building tests for uh, job skills, right? So from cognitive skills to, you know, companies like Wipro, Cognizant would use these tests for hiring, banks will use these tests for hiring and so on. If you are thinking, you think that this is a content curating business. Ki aap sabse questions le lije, aur ek paper mein dal dije, uh, aur fir company usko push legi. But it's not really a content curating business because assessment is a very evolved science in itself. Ki question likhte kaise hain, uski char option kaise likhte hain, right? And uspe, there's a statistical model which is fitted to every question per se. And then that question goes in the test. Now, uh, Rajput ji kaise ki, research bhi karna chahiye, mere hisab se that's a necessity of coming times, right? That if you want to be content specialist in your area of content, you should be able to build the best content in that area, right? And AI is a tool for it, but research and scientifically building that content uh, is very, very important, right? And I'll give you a couple of, you know, examples, two, three examples uh, in uh, in this, with due regards to everyone, right? Like, there, no, the the science of instruction is very, very evolved if you look at university research, but it doesn't flow in our books. Let me give you a simple example, right? That if you are writing a book for a child and you are writing a story, you have written that this girl has a problem or this girl has a problem, she was very smart, that's why she solved it. Now what research says, is, and this comes from a Stanford professor, is that you don't want to say that she was very smart. You should say that she had a lot of effort. अब अगर आप जाके बुक्स देखेंगे जो हम पढ़ा रहे हैं और पढ़ रहे हैं कितने में ये गलती मिलेगी आपको राइट right? कि उसने लिखा हुआ है वो बहुत स्मार्ट था बिकॉज दे स्टैटिस्टिकल एविडेंस कि अगर आप वो कहेंगे तो बच्चा एफर्ट नहीं डालेगा दिस इज नॉट एनिकडोटल एविडेंस दिस यू नो नंबर्स बिहाइंड दिस राइट अगेन आई मीन सो दिस इज जस्ट सम एग्जाम्पल्स बट इफ यू लुक एट द स्टोरी ऑफ हैंसल एंड ग्रेटर राइट इट्स अ टेरेबल स्टोरी वी कीप टेलिंग इट अगेन एंड अगेन आई ऑल्सो टोल्ड इट टू माई सन इन अ मॉडिफाइड वे राइट बट दिज अ स्टेप मदर एंड द पेरेंट्स एंड द चिल्ड्रन to the forest, right? And it's just inconceivable why we are telling this story. But AI can repurpose the story in many, many ways. And you might put those in those books and it is just, you know, continue to propagate that wrong kind of teaching, right? So I think we need to, we in as far as educational content is concerned, we have to bring best practices out of research to into our content. And we need to make sure that content is good. You know, there was this person who said that the role of the publisher is to establish trust. Right? So content to democratize. Now go to YouTube, there are thousands of videos. Hain, kuch hai, par good content. And how do you make sure that you are producing good content, which is, in my mind, a partnership between the author and the publisher. Right? It is not that the author has given. And you don't know good authors, which Rajput Ji was talking about. Ki, you know, in my own experience, we are creating a book for kids, fifth class kids. So, we book chapne se pehle humne ka chaliye teen bachcho ko sunate hain aur unka feedback lete hain. The whole book changed, right? Because unhone bola yes example the, so yeh samajh hi nahi aata jo aap bol rahe hain, right? Like, and this was a very interesting book. We were trying to tell some Gita concepts to children. So, usme ek humne likhi hui thi ki Bhagwan permanent hai, sat hai. तो हम कह रहे थे कि सत क्या नहीं है ये समझाने की कोशिश कर रहे थे तो उसमें हमने बोला कि देखिए सन जो है वो भी एक दिन खत्म हो जाएगा सूरज जो है एक दिन खत्म हो जाएगा राइट तो नो द रिएक्शन ऑफ द किड्स वर्स द दे वर टेरिफाइड बाय दैट एग्जांपल मोस्ट ऑफ देम सेड ओह हम मर जाएंगे क्या होगा राइट नाउ एज एन ऑथर वी नेवर अंडरस्टूड दैट इफ यू सीन द बुक टू अ थर्ड और अ फोर्थ क्लास किड कि अगर सन खत्म हो जाएगा दैट वुड बी व्हाट ही विल और शी विल थिंक अबाउट इट राइट so I think that research method in educational content is very, very important. And following up with actually in-field studies to create good books. And you know what is happening? So this book written by Eric Branolfson, who was at MIT and then went to Stanford, called The Second Machine Age. 
एनी सेज कि हम एक विनर टेक ऑल मार्केट में जा रहे हैं किसी भी प्रोडक्ट या सर्विसेज एरिया में जिसके पास बेस्ट चीज होगी सारा बिजनेस वो ग्रैप कर लेगा राइट एंड दिस इज यू नो दिस इज नॉट इंटायरली ट्रू बट ऐसा होता है सो द क्वेश्चन इज दैट कैन वी क्रिएट द बेस्ट कॉन्टेंट इन अवर स्पेशलाइजेशन एरिया दैट्स वॉट आई थिंक इज द फ्यूचर ऑफ पब्लिशिंग एंड कैन यू क्रिएट एंड वेन लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल अब विश्व गुरु की हर जना बात करता रहता है पर प्रश्न ये है कि कैन इंडिया से कि हम किसी भी एक टॉपिक में बेस्ट कंटेंट क्रिएट करें तब हम विश्व गुरु बनते नहीं तो नहीं बनते राइट हम कितना भी बोल लें एंड एट सम पॉइंट वी यूज टू डू दैट यू नो दैट्स द दैट्स द सैड पार्ट ऑफ इट सिमिलरली इन कंटेंट यू कैन आस्क द क्वेश्चन दैट किस प्रकार का कॉन्टेंट चार जी नहीं लिख सकता राइट एंड अगेन यू कम बैक टू कॉन्टेंट विच इज रिसर्च बेस्ड विच इज बाई टॉकिंग टू पीपल इन सो ऑन दैट ह्यूज नंबर ऑफ कॉन्टेंट होल्स अक्रॉस द बोर्ड मैं आपको दो एग्जाम्पल अभी देता हूँ Uh, you know, with one company which we are incubating in Change Engine, um, uh, Jana, there's a very interesting thing. We say that politicians, new, uh, such people in politics come, who are not in politics. So we say that it's a very good idea. But first, let's look at the data. That which politicians are now in the country who are self-made. Right? There's no data. At a MLA level and at a MP level, if you ask biography, there are 550 MPs. एम पी होते हैं हमारे आपको डेटा ही नहीं मिलेगा आपको पता ही नहीं होगा वो कहाँ से और कहाँ गए राइट सो दैट सो मेनी कॉन्टेंट होल्स नाउ चार्ट जी पी टी का नॉट राइट अ बुक सिंह अगर आप यू नो इनमें से दस एम पी की वो लिख दीजिए जीवनी लिख दीजिए कि वो डेटा है ही नहीं राइट सो आई थिंक वी हैव टू अगेन मूव बियॉन्ड वॉट इज कमोडिटी डेटा इन दिस राइट एंड यू नो योर बिजनेस मोर देन दैट आप कहेंगे वरुण ये सब बोल गया ये कॉन्टेंट कोई पढ़ता नहीं है राइट right? तो छाप के क्या करेंगे कोई खरीदेगा नहीं and i think that's that's what the entrepreneur has to do right so you have to find that sweet spot uh, where you are doing well research content and there is a mass buyer for that content right and if you can become content specialist in particular areas uh, i think that's where we are being pushed and that super specialization has happened in every area it's not only publishing i'll quickly talk two minutes about distribution uh, and the question i think there is ki jo abhi rajesh ji bol rahe the between digital and print i think i don't see it as a medium i the way i think about it is ki jo books hoti hain jab bhi main ek book ko dekhta hu for me the quality threshold in a book is the highest agar book mein galat information hai that is most frustrating right because i think that someone has very thoughtfully produced this page of tune when i see a video i don't care right so the book is your argument your basic gold standard and benchmark of content which has to be created right and but book is the starting point right from that book in today's world you need to be able to create a video you need to be able to create a tweet you need to be able to create a short form uh, text per se which you can put on linkedin you need to be able to create a podcast and so on the good news is that uh, you know ai will create a lot of it for you right so that technology within a year or year and a half will there's already that technology is there jisko aap text de denge to uski video aapko bana ke summarize karke text ko de dega but it will take a little more time to get uh, mature so but in the next 12 to 18 months it will get mature so i think you have to create very good content and not as content curator from content curators it's a journey to content specialists and from a journey of saying that the you know the printing press led to books right so it was that is one media of publishing but why are these all others are not medias of publishing the concluding thought i think is that when you think about distribution and you know using all these different content format finally bachche ko wapas ya padhne wale ko wapas kitab pe hi lana hai because jo usko kitab se mil sakta hai wo un sare medium se nahi mil sakta par ye these all mediums are ek zariya hai udhar tak pahunchne ke liye unko attract karne ke liye kitab ke liye so as the future of publishing is content specializ specialization and to me it is multi model distribution but being able to pull people uh, back to books so thank you so the my thought thank you i think the presentations were so clear and <coughs> crisp that there are no queries i thank both the various speakers on the dais and all of you for listening with attention and i think this is the last session also huh? so it is indeed everybody 
has talked highly of this uh, conference. I hope many good things will follow and you will have greater energy, enthusiasm and innovations. I say when there are ideas, when ideas are exchanged, when imagination is encouraged, innovations are in, never in short supply. So thank you very much. Thank you, sir. With this, we come to the end of our two-day session. And now I'll request Ramesh Mittalji and Dr. Ashok Gupta to come on the stage and give the gratitude. Please pay our gratitude from the FIP side to the panelists, please. With this, we come to the end of our two-day session and we have come to the closing ceremony and for that, we have amongst us Honorable Justice Jasmeet Singh Ji from Delhi High Court. I welcome him, kindly welcome him. He, since Jasmeet Singh was appointed as Standing Counsel for Delhi Sikh Gurdwara Management Committee DSGMC in Delhi High Court in 2013. He was appointed as Central Government Standing Counsel in Delhi High Court in 2014 and as Judge of Delhi High Court on 24th February 2021. Born on 26th February 1968 at Delhi, Justice Singh did his schooling from St. Javier's School, New Delhi. He received his BCom honors from Hindu College of Delhi University. He then attended Campus Law Center, University of Delhi and received his LLB in 1992 and enrolled as an advocate with Bar Council of Delhi in the same year. Thereafter, he practiced law primarily at the civil side in Delhi High Court, the sub subordinate courts and tribunals such as Debt Recovery Tribunal, Industrial Tribunal, National Consumer Disputes Redressal Commission, National Commission for Minority Education Institution and Delhi School Tribunal. Sir, we welcome to our concluding uh, session and I'll request you to please kindly join us on the stage. I request our President Emeritus, Shri Ashok Ghoji, to honor sir. to make this uh, conference possible, successful, and there was hard work done by people from behind the screen. I will request Justice Jasmeet Singh, sir, and our President Emeritus to give them a certificate of appreciation, and I'll call them one by one. Madam Anu Talwar, who is GM of uh, FIP, She has worked very hard. 
मैडम रविंदर कौर Mr. Bantu, we have more persons who have helped us, and I'll call Ms. Shailu. of Indian publishers have done a commendable job and uh, publishing uh, to my mind is uh, one of the uh, most important part of a nation building. It is, uh, uh, publishing is in fact the, uh, you know, it's the keeper of history. You, you uh, take out a chapter, you publish it, you uh, print something which is going to last you forever and it will be, uh, you know, seen for generations altogether. So, I think you have done a commendable job. I congratulate you for organizing this event and wish you all the best. Thank you and Jai. So, with this we come to, an, to the end of our two-day workshop. And formally, informally, I will thank everybody. There are so many support, whether it is from FIP office, whether it is from Prince Publications office, whether it is from Claridge's Hotel, whether the persons who have come outside, from outside Delhi, everybody has supported. And I thank, I, I will not name individual, I will not name one. It is for one and all. Thank you very much for being part of this uh, two-day celebrations. Thank you very much.